Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Protesters ask for more. Ask IBB or Basanjo Jonathan Ibrahim Babangida to apologize to Nigerian youth. It's about time, isn't it? Enough of their um, antics and things that have gone on needlessly unchecked. Nobody uh, looked to it to see what they were doing. They carried on. Nobody probed or investigated them. See, as God leave it and as time progresses, many of the people in office today will be probed. Many of the people. We call it time. Give everything to time. Some people might say Nigeria is not changing. What is happening? Give it time. I mean, the pace is quite slow. If you want to compare the cheetah and then the snail, is quite. I mean, both of them are moving, but the pace is quite slow. But guess what? Once upon a time, it co there comes the tiger, who is not also fast, but voracious. And anything that comes on his way, he ravages it. This is what is happening. The Nigerian youth are unstoppable. And everyone and anyone who has continued to cause moral decadence in the society, you had the opportunity to change things, but you carried on as if the youth are not to be looked at. You filled your pockets and left. And, and today you are asked to apologize. It will do them great good if they can listen to the voice of reasoning and apologize to the youth as soon as possible so that they don't dig themselves deeper in the hole that they have already set for themselves. Let's carry on and get all the details. Protesters, ask group IBB or Basanjo Jonathan Buhari to apologize to Nigerian youths. A civil society agency, CSO, Rescue Nigeria Economic System Virtue, has asked former President Olusegun Obasanjo, former Navy President Ibrahim Babangida, former President Goodluck Jonathan, and former presi and present President Muhammad Buhari to apologize to Nigerian youth over their failure to reform the now disbanded Special Anti Anti Robbery Squad, despite public outcry over their high heartedness. In a, de in a declaration made available to impact on Friday, it governed the, sec the security system a full assistance of accountability, answers protesters nationwide as it has ultimately taken the federal authorities up to its years of slumber, indifference to maliciousness going on in the society in keeping with the institution having been pushed to the wall through years of misgovernance deprivation harshness by means of safety force nigerian youth have automated automatum given to former presidents and present president of nigeria to come out and the authority have been at confused state with what is currently going on in the country the group also warned that the government should apologize and apologize now using force to quench the protesters saying development of riverine areas lagos fct has shown that such move will be eventually resisted it is said that the best approach is for president muhammadu buhari to address the nation from his heart and take immediate steps to carry out the reform he promised Former presidents alive since the formation of SARS should offer Nigerian youth an unreserved apology to every single Nigerian youth. Those include former presidents Ulushe Basanjo, Good Luck Jonathan, Muhammad Buhari, and former heads of state Ibrahim Babangida Abusalim Abubakar. It has, if they had investigated the atrocities of the deformed SARS and carried out holistic reform, Long time ago, there won't be the need for the protests of Nigerian youth today across the country and across the world. The group also blasts Ambrosali State Governor. The group also blasts Anambra State Governor Obeno for appointing James Okafo, a former SARS operative accused of supervising the killing of Nigerian youth as a special assistant on security. These and many more should apologize. Everyone who has been in government who has seen and has been reported to at one point or the other 
things going on and did nothing about it. It's about time they wake up to the reality that they need to apologize to Nigerian youth and now. So my people, this is what is currently going on in the country as we speak. A lot is going on and the government, if they don't take make haste, why sunshine may have their hand full. Mm, yes, it's a statement of fact that uh, with what is going on in the country, Nigerians need to tell themselves the truth. You know, especially those in government. You see, today we presented to you what a single senator takes, takes home. Well, you know, things that are going on in this country and how they've neglected the responsibility of Nigerians, how they have allowed Nigerians to suffer. People have lost children, lost husbands, lost, you know, people important to them, all because Nigerian youths have not been considered to be important. This is the order of the day. This is the new table they need to come to the table and we need to have a talk the five point agenda has increased to seven they said they were reforming SARS, but guess what i don't see what they have reformed they only changed the name within 42 48 hours is that what we call reform is that what we call reform we're talking about a re-overhauling of the whole system giving them you know straining meeting and saying to nigerians effectively this has been met you see this is what it should be. Times have changed and you cannot continue. They need to come and apologize. It's about time. They were there. Needlessly, they allowed Nigerian youth to be brutalized. And they keep telling us as we are growing up, these are the leaders of tomorrow. Yet they did nothing about it. So they need to come and apologize and apologize now. So my, my, my people, this is what is happening. This is where we are. Nigerian youth have risen up. And then the government have to be careful. We hear some people who think that um, they can just, you know, they can just carry on and just do anyhow. No, it cannot happen. It cannot happen. You know, Tinubu and the rest of them have to stand up and stand with Nigerian youth if they want to see any light in political future because we are looking at every one of them. Every one of them that are marking and are looking and eyeing 2023. <laughs> the door, you know, we, we, we Nigerian youth, we are tired of either APC or PDP. We want, irrespective of your party, yes, irrespective of your party, we want people who truly loves us we don't want people who are coming to us based on party we want people who are coming to us based on the fact that they love us they are sincere they they they, they want nigerian to move forward that is the person we're going to vote for so guys this is what is happening this is the new era and this is what it is we'd like to hear from you yes we'd like to hear from you leave us a comment like us share subscribe click on the notification button god bless you have a fantastic day for now bye